Mm. Gotta get a white monster in for this one. I have two orders that are really exciting. Just opened up this one, which is my raw speed tire order. Let's see what we got here. We've got some super minis in the super soft compound. And then some stage twos in the soft compound. If you haven't guessed based on the tire tread pattern, we're getting ready to do some outdoor dirt racing today at a track that I'm really excited is opening back up for the first time in a year or so. I'm not really sure, but it's been closed for a while and they're really excited to kick things off this weekend and that's where we're going. And I was waiting for this package to come in. I'm really excited. There's one piece in here that I want to show you that I just absolutely love and I use it every time I build my shocks. So let's see what it is. TDK shock assembly grease. This stuff is honestly the best stuff I've ever used in my shocks. This is not a paid endorsement or sponsorship in any way, shape or form. I just really love this stuff that much. Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and show you guys how I use the grease on just one of the shocks. I like to think of it as I'm making a little shock package sandwich or ice cream sandwich. <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird. So this little guy, it does have a direction, even though the instructions aren't very clear on it. Um, one side has a groove, the other does not. I put the groove facing the inside of the assembly. So put it on like so. Shock ring. Spacer. Ring. Then I get just a little bit on my fingers and I kind of dab a little bit between each one. Kind of flip it over, do a little bit more on this side. You don't have to go too crazy. And then I squish it together. Make sure it's nice and covered. Your fingers will get greasy. And then you just pop it right in there. Now what I like to do is I actually, I don't tighten this down completely because if you have it all the way tight, it's completely compressed. So what I do is I back it off just a little bit so that when I go to drop the shock shaft through, it's not going to fight against those rubber inserts and potentially cut them. So leave it loose, slide it right in and then tighten it up and you'll be good to go. So I'm just about ready for racing tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna go ahead and button all this stuff up and then hit the sack and I will see you guys in the morning. So right now the track's a little slick, it's in the morning, it's about 10.30, and so the track's just a little bit dusty. The thing you gotta know about outdoor dirt tracks is that they normally go through this phase where all of the loose stuff brushes off, and then you got the hard stuff underneath, and we have to wait for a groove to develop if we're gonna see any higher levels of traction. So let me show you what we got for the tire choices today. So as you can see on the cars right now, we have just a super soft compound 
super mini. It's just like a whole shot or like a double D. And then for later in the day, if we do see that groove, we've got some soft bar tires mounted up ready to go. So we'll just have to wait and see what's going to be needed for the rest of the day. car down grab your water there are waters in this cooler right up here in front if you need a water pop out there we will get the second heat started is that you kenny yeah all right you're good All right, we got a minute in. We got Steven first, followed by Dustin. Then oh wait, Dustin, Mark, Kenny, Steve, Steve. come on, Brian dude. Is, uh, Brian just pumped the three. Then Steven. Oh god. In five stops. Round one of qualifying done. Dustin, how'd it go? Pretty good. Wait, did you take it? I got TQ. He got me. Definitely made a bunch of mistakes out there. Kenny's here today. Didn't know that, so it's gonna be fun battling with him. Definitely, we have to beat him today. That is our goal, Dustin. One of us has to beat Kenny. But good to see everyone. So getting the four-wheeler ready. Um, after round one, a little bit of tire wear. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Try to show you guys here. Track's a little bit drier. Um, not much. If the track stays about the same, I'll just go out on those again, and then we'll see how it goes. But no changes on the setup, just ran it as it is. Uh, four wheel, ready to go. Just charging up the battery. So we'll see how it goes here in just a second. Here by Vince. This is the hot lap right here. What, this is? Oh, yeah. We got traction. My bad. Ryan! Stay today. I can get a couple out there. Oh, oh, right here in front of the driver's stand. Oh, I'm up. Bro. Back wheel, still in front of the driver's stand. I didn't even do anything. Back a little bit. Yeah, Ryan Harris is first. Jason Davis is second. Brad Eason is third. After four, there's five. Canto six. Ryan Harris has the fast lap. is 20.029. I don't really know. Oh. Triple, I got it, I got it. Hey, this race we Third, Brad Easton slips to four. Can't throw five, pack of six. Patrick Dunn, Brad Dunn. Now, it is time to get ready for the mains. So the trek is a little interesting because there's areas where it has a lot of bite and then there's other areas where it's still pretty low bite and we didn't get a fully developed groove. Tire selection was going to be between some bar style soft tires or a harder pin. We were on super softs all morning and I thought that I had brought some softs but these are super softs. I think that they'll work just fine, so we're going to mount up a fresh set, get those ready, because the track was getting a little bit abrasive, 
and I don't want a slicked out tire for the main. It would just be too sketchy. So I'm gonna glue these up, throw them on here. I already got some done for the four wheels, so that thing's good to go. And then we're gonna jump into the mains. Should be a good battle with Kenny and Dustin. He's keeping me honest. Actually, I had it by just hairs, the skin of our teeth. And what was really interesting was the way that the announcer was calling the race with like a lap to go. He was like, and Ryan's down by about two seconds. He's got a lot of work cut out for him in the last minute here. And I was like, all right, it's on. And on the last lap, I turned my hot lap in my two wheel and he had just a couple bobbles and it was just enough to get me the TQ and two wheel. So uh, Dustin, thank you for that. You're a nice guy. It's Appreciate on. that. It's on. <laughs> so it's gonna be a good main. So gonna glue these up and we'll see you in a sec. All right, less than five. Boop. Oh, Ryan gets it wrong in the first time, but still manages to pull out in front. Nice, clean Andy, first lap on, so far. They're going big. Oh, oh there's a couple getting it wrong over there. Kanto, can you go help out in that corner? That far left corner where they just stopped. First lap around, let's see how it's lined up. We got Ryan, we got Kenny, we got Vince, we got Zach. Derek, George, Kermit, Andy, Scott. Right, it's a tight race all the way through. Lots of time left. Oh, somebody's going out. Next up will be stock short course. Two more guys short course. You are next. Just kind of set it. Yeah, at least that way it's not wide open. Thank you, man. Gosh dang it. Oh, no, it is halfway. 320 down, 240 to go. We got us a nice race up front. Still only three seconds separating Ryan and Kenny. Kenny. Oh, point four that time around. Kenny coming in hot. Right on his bumper. Look at that. We got a race, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to take him on the outside of the corner. Through that little hip on the high speed sweeper. Down the straightaway they go. Nice and clean coming up on some lap traffic. Look out, little red car. Oh, he's putting the wheels to the bumper. Kenny's looking for every inch. It, but I see Kenny coming out in front. Something happened behind the driver's stand. Now it's Ryan's turn to put the pressure on and see if Kenny can hang. A lot easier to be in. Oh, and Kenny gives the wrong clip to pipe and Ryan is checking out. Four ten down. Let's see, last time around it was 1.5. Let's see when they cross and sure it's a lot closer. Oh, and Ryan gets caught up in some lap traffic just barely. Enough to slow him down. Here they come. Oh, can he take it over the triple? Airs it out on that tabletop section. We got 59 seconds to go, guys. 59 seconds. Kenny in first. Ryan in second. Vincent third. Andy in fourth. Kermit in fifth. Then York, Zach, Scott, and Derek. Oh, sorry, Kenny. Sorry, man. Go ahead. Yeah, mine's getting soft too. Yeah. Here comes Kenny down the stairs. Oh, Kenny kills the pipe. Oh, Ryan hits him from oh, the dude. <laughs> We've got 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds to go. This is your A main for 17.5 two-wheel drive buggy for the brand new, freshly rebuilt track here at Newberry RC Park. And he's closing it. Ryan's trying to hold it, but Kenny's trying to close that door. Oh, he gets a little squirrely over the hump. He don't ride the pipe. Gives Ryan to move quickly at the table. Nice save. When you cross the line, drivers, you will be done. Race it to the line. Race it to the line. <laughs> oh, no. Derek just get caught. No, good buddy. race, dude. Good race. That was good. We got in most of the program today. Just had like a little like 10, 15 minute rainfall and the track is a little damp. Not really sure if we're gonna be able to finish the program or not, but that was a 
really close run of two wheel and four wheel. I was really excited for that main as well. Kind of on standby for a second, so we'll see what happens. It's in my pocket. Hey, right. I'll take your Fortnite. Are we gonna be doing wheelies or donuts? The only spot that has a tiny bit of traction is over there. Yeah. Good luck guys. Ready to go. Drivers, we ready? Let's go. All right. Here we are, less than five. Boop. There we go, the nice clean start. Jason gets it wrong over the triple. Nice save, Ryan. Tournament right behind Ryan. I mean, right behind him. They're running one and two. You got Brad running three. Nick right on him running four. Jason right on him running five. It's a tight race all the way around. Ryan starting to get a little space on Kermit. Kermit starting to get a little space on the rest of the field. Vince right behind Brad. And Nick right behind Vince. Oh, Vince goes for a pass. Oh, gets it nice and clean. Brad did not get it nice and clean. And Vince takes over second place at 0. .3 seconds ahead of Kermit. Oh, you know, I just want to rip the arm off my front of my car real quick. Hey, dude, you were there all in the same way. Said. There's like so much dirt in the front of it. But... It feels heavy. Yeah. I gotta throw a whip. Oh. Alright, I'll throw a whip. Throw me a fatty. Ryan, you're throw done. Fatty, Ryan. Get Nick, it you're get done. It, get it, get it. Ryan in the one, Vince in the two, <laughs> Kermit in the three. Hey, we did it. Oh man, what a day. I thought it was gonna get rained out, but it didn't. Mother Nature decided, you know what? We'll go ahead and let you finish the race day. So that was awesome. Really awesome that this track was actually taken over by some new management and this was their first event getting back into it. So this was a awesome experience. They worked really hard on the track to take it from literally weeds to this in a matter of weeks. And I thought they did a really great job. So also it was really fun is that I got to surprisingly run against this loser. Yeah. You guys know Kenny. Yep. Kenny, what happened in that two wheel main, man? Um. You thought you had me, didn't you? I, I did. I My tires wore out a little bit. Battery kind of dumped a little bit. Um, it was fun, though. I had fun. Ryan did a good job. He uh, See, you, you want to know what the secret was, though? You wanna, do you want to tell them what the secret was? Well, yeah, Ryan did go on bar tires. I decided to stick with a uh, reflex. Oh, hurting. No, nah, it was... Um, it was a pretty big gamble by me where the track looks like it was just... Oh, it was so close. Like the groove was just starting to show up. And I was like, you know what? I bet we can make a bar tire work. So I threw him on there and I was like, hurried into hot laps. And then I was like, yo, it's money. And then this guy, he just couldn't, just could, well, you could hang. And you, I wonder, I, did. I, I was there, I was there. I was did there. you look at the hot laps? No, I think we're pretty close though. I mean, close. we were, uh, I mean, we were really yeah, close. We were yeah, we were really with close. each other the yeah. whole race. Yeah, but it was fun. That was a good race. Yeah. It was awesome running with you. Yeah. Your car was doing good today. I think you just could have gotten a little bit more speed if you went and did the risky move and went with the bar tires. Yeah, I should have. I should have. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for following along. Hope you're enjoying these more of a little bit of like a race day vlog style progression of the stuff here. I'm having a lot of fun with it. 
using the GoPro to get the footage and then just get the random B-roll stuff with this. So Kenny, do you have any other words? Um, just stay fast. Stay fast. If you're not first, you're last. Yeah, or you're Kenny, because yeah. Kenny's, no, I'm just kidding. Do you want to do the thing? Yeah. Do, yeah. <laughs>